Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad you joined me today. The topic I have for today is one that I think affects many people in our community and across our nation, and that is anxiety about life and the future. And I was thinking that, you know, worrying about things give, does give you something to do, but it really doesn't help you to get anywhere. Just like sitting in a rocking chair it gives you something to do, but it doesn't help you move through life. So I was going to talk to you about why you don't have to be worried. Uh, certainly there are many serious things that we're all facing today, but Jesus said this. He said, uh, you can't serve God and money. He said, for this reason I say to you, do not be anxious for your life as to what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor for your body as to what you shall put on. Is life not more than food and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, neither do they reap, not, nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not worth much more than they? I was thinking it's one thing to say don't worry. It's another to actually not worry. <laughs> because the reality is we all have to deal with uh, uh, work and money and buying food and medical care and so forth. These are just practical things we have to deal with. And they're not easy decisions to make. But when Jesus said, don't be anxious for your life, what he was saying is, worrying about it will not really help your situation to get better. In fact, worrying about the things of life uh, kind of gets us distracted from doing something to make a difference in our life. God actually is here with us. If you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you know what I'm talking about. You know that he's with you and he never leaves you and he won't forsake you. When you uh, need wisdom or wise counsel to know what to do, then uh, you can read the Bible and God talks to you that way. In other ways, you can pray and ask God for help. And in other ways, you can go to your Christian friends and say, Hey, I, I'm dealing with a problem and I need somebody to help me uh, work through this, which is a smart thing to do. And... Um, uh, you've got friends to help you, but some of you that are watching right now don't have Christian friends, and you're trying to make it through what is not an easy life by yourself or with people who give you sometimes even bad advice. And I want to say to you, you know, there is help available to you, and God has provided help to you, whether you're a believer in Jesus Christ or whether you're not. I will tell you that there are people who belong to our church, for example, just one of many, who really care about people. And when somebody comes in and they have a problem, we'll sit down and talk to them, listen to them, and uh, prayerfully try to seek some wise counsel to help. And second thing is, don't worry about things. Worry doesn't really help. Talk to somebody that can help you give you some positive ideas about things that you can do or where you can go to get help to get through a situation you may be struggling with. That's why he could say, don't be anxious for your life. What he's really trying to say is, God's there. You can trust him with your life and you can find people who care about you and not say and make promises they're not going to keep but actually people who are careful what they say and only offer you hope when it's real. Well, that's what I want to do in my life is offer true living hope to people who are struggling in life. So if you need some help, come on by our church. It's a great place to be. I'm glad I'm here, and I got some great friends that help me quite often. Thank you. God bless you.